Ken, bro, we have been looking for you. Hey, Keith, what's going on? Man, there's a lot going on. Do you know that Midnight Waltz and Escada got into an, a fight? What? Yeah, man, I was the one that broke it up. What are you guys talking about? Apparently, Midnight Waltz and Escada got into a fight. We don't know what exactly happened, but uh, Kenneth broke it up. Tell him, Kenneth. All I know, I was walking. I saw two beautiful women fighting, and I broke it up. Okay, so what does this have to do with me? Well, the one named Midnight Waltz said something about they were fighting because Patsy was, you didn't call Patsy, or I don't know what it was, but it was, it was complicated to understand, but it had something to do with you, bro. I don't know what you guys are talking about, but this has gone way too far. Yes, it has. I think we need to get over to Patsy's house and you, you need to straighten all this out with her because... We don't know what's going on, and nobody else do either. Well, what do you suppose we do? Was Escada hurt? She looked at her to me. She looked at real broken, bro. Something has to be done. I think the authorities need to get involved because that fight was brutal. Oh, wow. This is very upsetting. Bro, what do you think we should do? I kind of got a plan. If you say this Midnight Waltz is as devious as she is, then we need a, a really good plan. I'm down. I'm with it. Me too. Listen up, you guys. This is what we're going to do. Oh, that sounds good. All right. So we're all getting ready to go over Patsy's house right now. And I'll let Patsy know exactly what's going on. We're going to stop this midnight waltz right now. This has to stop. Out the box, Ken. What are you doing here? Oh, hi, my love. I I have a lot to talk to you about. I know, I, I'm sorry, but I can't really explain it right now. What do you mean you can't explain it? You haven't called, you haven't texted me in weeks. I've been worried, no communication, and then you just show up. Listen. Patsy, there's a reason for all of that, and I will explain it to you later. But right now, we got a serious problem. Yeah, there's a serious problem. Look over there on my bed. Escada. She's been beaten by Midnight Waltz, and I don't understand why. This is going to stop today. I can't take this anymore. This is the second time she's did this to her. That's why I'm here. Keith and Kenneth have already came and talked to me and they told me what happened. This is going to stop. We actually got a plan for this. And we're going to get the authorities on uh, in on it today. But right now, our main goal, we have to get Midnight Waltz over here. I don't want Midnight Waltz in my house after what she's done to my friend. Are you kidding me? I don't want that to come nowhere near my house, me or my friends. I know, Patsy. But listen, like I said, we have a plan. We have to stop Midnight Waltz. This is ridiculous. She can't go around beating people up and thinking that she's going to get away with it. So we have a plan. Are you with it? I don't know. I'm still mad. I, I, I'm just so 
confused about everything. You popping up out of the blue. My friend is beat up. And now you guys want Midnight Walls to come to my house? I don't know about this. I'm angry. <sighs> Patsy, my love, trust me, this will all work out. And the whole thing with you and I, I have a very good explanation of why I didn't call or text you. But we could talk about that later. But now time is of the essence. We have to get Midnight Waltz over here ASAP. <sighs> All right. Anything for my friend. Look at Escada. She's tired and she's broken. And I told her she's going to stay here all night. She's not leaving out my sight. That is my friend, and I take care of my friends. I understand, Patsy, and I would do the same. But like I said, right now, we got to get Midnight Waltz over here. Uh, Keith and Kenneth, they're taking care of that right now because we have got to stop this. All right, what do you want me to do? Hey cousins, I'm glad I found you too. We have a serious problem and I'm sorry. I know you guys just got in town and you're here and everything and this is supposed to be a great occasion, but there's something that just came up. Hey cousin, what's wrong? You look really worried. Well, I am. First of all, out the box Ken, he showed up out the blue. He showed up after all this time. I know you got a word or two for him. Yeah, I do, but I have to put that on the back burner. There's something really bad that has happened. What has happened, cousin? Poor Escada, she's been beaten really bad. She's upstairs in my bed. Midnight Waltz did it. Midnight who? Midnight Waltz. She's a vintage Barbie doll from the 90s, and she's been really jealous of me. She's been causing problems for months. Well, cousin, we are here. You want us to take her down because we will. Nobody is going to mess with my cousin. We'll take her down. Where is she? No, there's not going to be any more fighting. We have a plan for her. And we're actually going to turn her into the authorities. Wow, it's that serious? Yes, this has got to stop. When I get through telling you guys what's going on, go upstairs and look at Escada. She's in my bed. She's broken. She's, she's, but she doesn't want to press charges. But we are. This has got to stop. Well, we are here for you. We are your cousins and we are your blood. And you know whatever you want us to do. We'll do it the right way. But cuz, if you want us to take care of this midnight, whoever, we're going to do it. We got your back, cuz. Tell us what you want us to do. Okay, I'm just glad you guys are on board. But uh, out the box, Ken, his brother and his best friend... They're handling things right now, so let's just hold tight. You guys go up there and try to just keep Scott in the bed because she's not going anywhere. She's staying here with us tonight. Okay, I'll go upstairs right now, and I'll just stay with her. All right, thanks, you guys. I cannot believe Midnight Waltz took it this far. Ooh, let me get a hold of her. I know, me too. I'm so angry and I'm so mad, but I'm fed up. She's not going to keep beating up my friend like that. She wouldn't do me like that. No, she wouldn't do us like that because she know we wouldn't have it. But that's okay. We'll take care of her. Hi, Escada. My name is Vernita. I'm Patsy's cousin and I'm here out of town. Do you need anything? Hi, I'm Escada. Thank you, Patsy. Patsy's cousin. I'm so sorry I'm out of it. 
What did you say your name was? My name is Vernita. Hi, Vernita. It's just, she hit me in my head and I feel like I can't hardly remember or see anything. Ooh, that makes me mad. You gonna stay right here with us tonight. We're gonna watch over you. Nobody's gonna mess with you. I guarantee you that. And I don't even know you like that. But if you're a friend of my cousins, you're a friend of mine. Thank you. It's just I can't keep taking these beatings. I don't know exactly how I can physically go on. You'll be okay. They're handling things right now. But like I said, Passy told me to come up here and check on you and stay with you and make sure you're okay. Do you want anything to drink or eat? No, I think I'll just lay down right here. And I'm so glad I have friends like you guys. I don't know what I would do without you guys. Well, I'm here and I'm not going anywhere and nobody's going to bother you. You're safe. So go ahead and take you a little nap if need be. Thank you, Vernita. I really appreciate it. I think I will take a nap. I'm just tired. All right. Well, I'll be right here. Midnight Waltz, this is the end of your escapade. Let me go. Let me go. Let me go, What? whatever your name. Why am I here? You know why you're here, Midnight Waltz. Look over there. Don't you see a Scotta land in that bed? You did this to her. Oh, I didn't do anything. I just pushed her a little bit. Honey. No, you didn't. You beat her up. And Kenneth's seen it. He broke you guys up. I sure did. And you're not going anywhere. We're going to report you to the authorities. Oh, really? You're not going to do anything, honey. I've been telling you guys I'll get you and your little friends, too. Well, this is going to stop. Oh, Midnight Waltz. I didn't even get a chance to know you. And I don't think I want to get to know a, a lady like this. No, you're not a lady. If you're going to beat up on someone else, I'm not interested. Well, I never was interested in you either, honey. I never was. Out the box, Ken just pushed you on me. He just did that. And you know what? I'm not interested in either one of you guys. Get your hands off of me, uh, whatever your name is, with your uh, two colors and whatever. Take your hands off of me, honey. No. You are going down. I witnessed the whole thing, and I'm going to tell the police what happened. Oh, you just go ahead. Go ahead. Midnight Waltz, you don't have, you, you're not going to say you're sorry to Escada. I didn't do anything to her that she didn't deserve. And that little patsy girl. Why did you run away from her and wasn't calling or texting her that is none of your business or your concern you stay out of our life you stay out of our business midnight waltz the authorities are on the way and you're going down so i hope you've had your fun you guys haven't seen the last of me yet honey oh i'll be back i'll be back and i'll get you your little friend, too. Well, Midnight Nut Boss, or whatever your name is, I think you're wrong this time. Where you're going, you're going to be there for a long time. <laughs> you're right, brother. She's going to be there for a long time. You're not getting away with it this time. Because we all are pressing charges. What? Pressing charges? For what? I'm not going to keep explaining myself over and over. You know what you did to Escada, the vintage Barbie doll from the 90s. 
she's beautiful and you just were jealous of her. I'm beautiful, honey. And they all were jealous of me. Don't I look good? Hey, Kenna, don't I look good, honey? No, you don't. You're not cute or beautiful at all. In fact, you stink. What? I don't know what you're talking about. Let me go, let me go, let me go. No. The authorities are on their way and you're going down, honey. <laughs> Let's get out of here, you guys. Let's take her downstairs so when the authorities get here, they can take her away. Well, at least we know that Midnight Waltz is going to be put away for a long time and we don't have to put up with her crap anymore. Yeah, I got sick of her. And the nerve of her to ask, what did she do wrong? She know what she did wrong. Poor Scotta. Yeah. Be kind of quiet. She's trying to get her rest right now. She's going to stay here the night. I understand. Okay, so now that we've got all that out the way, could you please explain to me what exactly was going on? Well, Patsy, I tell you like this. I actually told my brother to keep this quiet because I didn't want anybody to know. You didn't want anybody to know what? Well, Patsy, we've been knowing each other for how long? Um, I think it's been going on about three months now. Okay, well within that time, I have fallen in love with you. And I've fallen in love with you, but I just don't understand. Why the cold shoulder for almost two weeks? Well, you know how I got that new job? And I told you they asked me if I want to do some overtime. Yeah, you told me about all that, but what does that have to do with our relationship? Well, actually, I was trying to get as much overtime as possible because... Go on. Because of what? Patsy, I'm in love with you. I want to spend the rest of my life with you. I eventually want to marry you. What? <laughs> well, I just... I... Yes, I was saving up to buy you a ring, an engagement ring. Wow, out the box, kid. I didn't know that. Why you just didn't tell me? because I wanted it to be a surprise. I didn't want you to know and I didn't want you to worry about me doing all that overtime. So it was supposed to be a surprise, but it's all ruined now. Everybody, it's ruined and it's all Midnight Wall's fault. No, I don't think it's ruined. I think it's beautiful. And Ken? Yes, my love. I want you to marry me. I want to marry you too. I want us to be a family. I just was so worried and I didn't understand. Patsy, listen, I will never leave you. Never. You are my soulmate. I knew that the first time I met you. But I had to be sure. And I am sure now. I want you. And I want us to be a family. Oh, Ken, I feel so relieved now. I was so hurt. I thought you were cheating. Cheating? <laughs> what, what, Midnight Waltz? <laughs> oh, I guess that's not funny. Not necessarily Midnight Waltz, but with whoever. I didn't know. I just didn't understand. Okay, well now you know I'm not cheating. I'm not doing anything mischievous. 
I'm only trying to secure our future. I want us to be together forever. Oh, out the box, Ken. Thank you. I'm so happy. <sighs> Can you stay here tonight with me? Oh yeah, I'm not going anywhere. That's fine. I'm I'm not going anywhere. No, after all this, no, I'm right here. If you mind, don't mind having me. Yes, I want you here. I haven't seen you in weeks and I miss you. Can you please hold me? Patsy, listen to me. I am so sorry. Trust me when I say this. This will never, ever happen again. I love you so much. And I love you too. And I'm glad you explained everything to me because now I understand. Are we good now? Yes, we are. Can I have a kiss now? Yes, you can. I don't ever want to leave you again. You are my love, my one and only love. I just want to thank everybody for being there and really helping us take down Midnight Waltz, especially you, Kenneth. Oh, no problem. I just don't like when two beautiful women are fighting. That is ridiculous. She had to be stopped, and I'm glad I could be of help. Thank you very much. And I also want to thank you, Keith, for being out the box Ken's brother because when I was at my worst you were there to support me and you talked to me oh no problem no problem and especially now that I hear you're going to be part of the family so I'm going to be very protective of you <laughs> yeah do you guys know know what Well, big brother, Kenneth, I love Patsy, and we are going to be a family. I'm going to marry her. Yay! Now I have a sister-in-law. <laughs> wow. Now I can come over here more often, and I can see... Tangerine, Twist, and Vernita, and Priscilla. What? Oh, I, I, I'm I, just kidding. But no, if you're going to be part of his family, you're going to be part of my family. And I love you too, Patsy. Thank you guys for all the love. I'm really so happy now. And I'm really so glad that I'm going to be part of you guys' family. This is wonderful. This is a beautiful ending. Now, you guys, we need to get out of here and let poor Scotty get some rest. Yeah, she's been through a lot. We're going to go downstairs. You guys want to order some pizza? Yeah, bro, that sounds good. Yeah, I'm hungry. After handling Midnight Waltz, she's a handful. What kind of pizza are we going to get? I don't know, but we're going to get the works on it. I'm starving. All right, you guys. Well, I'm going to go downstairs. Who's paying? Well, Ken, you've been doing all that overtime. You should have some money in your pocket. I got it. I got it. just want to give you an update on Midnight Waltz, Escada. Um, so Midnight Waltz, she did go to jail for what she did to poor Escada. 
she served her time and now she's back in her place on the shelf where she belongs next to her best friend Moonlight Waltz and she's back next to Escada, the vintage Barbie doll from the 90s and believe it or not these guys are all friends again so that will conclude Midnight Waltz as being a villain she's back in her place and she served her time all right you guys until the next video i will see you then thank you honey. for watching my dolls dario